Alrighty then, so um, the update is out, 2.7.0 is out, and I'm sorry if I'm doing this quote unquote late, um, that's just because it really is not possible to give a comprehensive overview of the update without some amount of time, there's just way too much content. Regardless, this time I'm going to be talking about all the classes, and um, every single class, and besides warriors, because the thing is warriors, they didn't get changed, they got overhauled, so for all intents and purposes, the old warriors, they're dead. There is no such thing as old warriors. There is a completely new class at this point. So they didn't get changed. They got they got reborn basically. They're completely different. So I'm not really gonna discuss too much about that. Maybe like point out the general gist of it and what people are thinking about it because there have been a lot of mixed opinions. Some say it's really underpowered, some say it's like overpowered, some say it's fun, some say it's boring. But regardless, um I overall do like the warrior change. I'll talk about that a little more. So, anyways, let's get on. Um, uh, one more thing, um, I posted a forum thread on this, so you can go view that if you don't want to watch the entire video, don't want to watch hopefully the good gameplay in the background. I have been asking um, a lot of my nub friends out there um, to give me clips, and if you're seeing good clips in the background, then they did a good job. So, regardless, um, I made a thread on the forums. It's going to be updated of probably a few more times if I missed anything, which I doubt at this point because I spend quite a few time quite some time and asked a lot of people about this so regardless um, let's get on straight to it so um, obviously you can read it and I'm just gonna pretty much read summarize the beginning part um, brief list of the class changes as usual because I always do that every single update obviously the mage changes are gonna be much more detailed and comprehensive since I have a mage and the other classes I should have covered all the different changes I may not know the healer changes um, very well because I don't play a healer at all but I know all the other classes relatively well so you know I can give my basic educated opinions on them so um it's gonna straight to it. So then the mage, the mage changes. Um, elemental mastery talent has been decreased from, has been um, decreases cast from decreases class by 0.45 seconds instead of 0.3 seconds. So pretty much a 50% increase in the talent bonus is in the second tier of fire. Um, the winter sleep duration has been decreased to six seconds from eight seconds, and the, but the cooldown has been reduced to 30 seconds from 45 seconds. Condense has been nerfed to heal only 2% of your HP, but Gameloft did fix the condense bug, which was a bug last update that pretty much rendered this useless, where condense only proc once every 40 seconds or something really crazy like that. Um, the next one is a stone armor, lasts for 8 seconds, it was 10 seconds I believe, um, maybe 12, I'm pretty sure it was 10. And then um, energy shield that causes a chill condition for a few seconds after it's broken by an attack and it'll, it'll apply to the person who broke the shield, not everyone around you. And if you guys don't know what a chill condition is, is um, the, it's what causes cyclone freezes. Cyclone will freeze the target if they have a chill condition and the chill condition is applied by ice meteor or frost bolt. And now your shield. So. It's going to be really useful against archers, if anything, since it's really hard getting off a single spell against them. And then um, Cyclone cooldown in order to compensate for this has been increased to 20 seconds from 15 seconds. Also, it's going to hurt the mana, our mana regen overall. So, And then um, Flamestorm cast. I'm not 100% sure about this, but no one has deconfirmed this yet. Flamestorm cast has been reduced to 2 seconds, and I it was 3 seconds at one point. I, I'm, I'm not too sure about this, because when I tested it, it felt like the same, just a tiny bit faster, but not so much faster that it's really obvious. So, I don't know, you can disregard this if you if you really want. Um, if anything, I can't tell the difference, so I don't know if you even want to regard this. And then the more important changes are that um, Frost Phantom, the proc activation has been changed in nature of it, so it's not activated by all um, ice spells like sleep or um, permafrost, but it'll only activate when the target gets directly hit with a frost spell like frost bolt, frost blast, ice meteor, blah 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 blah. Um, no dot effects like perma. And same goes for um, fire phantom um, or flame phantom. Only direct damage will proc it. So cyclone will not proc it anymore, blaze prison will not proc it anymore, and flamestorm will not proc it anymore. Only direct damage like fireball or shockwave. And then um, the Frost Blast cooldown, um, the Frost Blast um, range has been increased to 6 meters from 5 meters, I can't really tell the difference, so may I'm not even sure if that's much of a change. And the duration has been decreased from um, 6 seconds to 5 seconds, which I also cannot tell, so maybe it was their last update and the description was messed up. That's what some people are saying, but you know, I can't really confirm that. So overall, the mage has definitely been buffed. Um, you know, you can argue that some of the nerfs, like the condensed, were there, but overall, it's been buffed, and I'm actually really happy about 
about this since it wasn't a big buff so it doesn't seem like they're going to be too overpowered and um they also buff a lot of the other classes um they actually did a really really good job at um at balancing classes this update i'm actually very very impressed with what they do um anyways know. um military monks they have been buffed overall um dragon tail kick will cause a silence if it interrupts a spell i think that's a really really cool mechanic they also added to warriors and then there has been an armor buff from the talents i believe the first tier of the military tree talent um so now they i think it's like 200 percent instead of 100 percent or something like that either ways they have like two times more armor armor than usual um which is pretty cool i guess um you know, armor isn't as powerful as the skill description says but it still does definitely make a very big difference um you'll see it once you start attacking them and then um deities will only last for eight seconds but it'll increase the healing during that duration and also deities cooldown is decreased to 60 seconds instead of 120 seconds and also the s3 um bonus has been buffed for more heal power and spell power the ratio of attack of whatever I'm not 100% sure, it's just something like you get more heal power and spell power. The rate, it's the S3 bonus right before was like, you know, some percent of your attack power or whatever is converted to heal and spell power and then increase the ratio there. Military monks overall has been buffed. I've been hearing from other military monks or dedicated military monks that you know, the class is definitely better to interrupt and has definitely helped them out. Um, they actually have a decent amount of control. They still have trouble catching up to their opponents, but you know, at least they have deities so they can survive some amount of time. So obviously they do have their weaknesses still, but they're they're relatively fun and they're relatively balanced from what people say so far. Keep in mind I'm making this video like the day after the update, so I obviously can't make any hundred percent con you know predictions on how the classes are gonna work, just predictions um based on what I've been hearing. And in the sins, they have been buffed very slightly. Now smoke bomb increases your movement speed to 120 um it does not slow you down anymore which is a small buff but it's still an appreciated buff they still definitely could have used a damage buff so i think if i have one complaint about class balance it would be that they should have buffed sins a little more because still are very they still are very weak they just don't do enough damage that's just the problem they just don't do enough damage to be warranted use um there's no reason to use a sin right now and then um archers they have been nerfed thank god um pin feed causes like 15 or 10 vigor now something like that um as to archer bonus um has been 20 percent damage reduction after snipe and they actually did this with um, a lot of different classes they reduced the um bonus of s2 they also did the same thing with um the trinkets as well i think i haven't i haven't talked about that but that's a an indirect military monk buff is that the phoenix and decapitate trinket will only decrease healing by 20 percent and for a lesser amount of time so um i don't think it's 100 percent necessary now since healers also got overall nerfed buff you know it's kind of hard to tell but regardless um you know arch regardless um you know archers uh, let's see, S2 bonus has been nerfed, the damage bonus and mastery has been decreased to 20% instead of 30%, so they'll be doing, uh, like, I don't know, like, 5-6% to 6 less damage, since it is a mastery increase, it's not like you're doing 30% damage and now it's decreased 20% damage, you know, it's a 30% damage increase, and now it's a 20% damage increase, so, you know, the overall decrease in damage is not going to be too noticeable, but it still is appreciated Appreciated that it didn't go all out, and they tried to make a very clever, um, very small tweak. And escape duration is decreased to 8 seconds, so that's very, very useful against very, very, um, helpful for us mages, military monks, and DPS warriors who, um, for mages, who can't catch up to their opponents, and also especially for military monks who can't kind of catch up to their opponents and has to deal with their attacks being dodged. So um, that's actually really, really helpful, and I'm really glad they nerfed archers just a little bit so that they're still usable, they're still fun, and um, they're still relatively balanced from what I'm seeing. They might still, little be, still be a little too powerful, but you know we'll see how that works out at the end. It really depends on how warriors pan out to be. And then the healers, um, credit to um, Mark Nub. Um, mark all the heal for the list. Um, probably one of the best healers I know. I'm, ju I'm just saying. And then, anyways, he gave a full comprehensive list on the Google Plus board of the changes. So, um, first, mastery de because I don't know anything about healers. I, I don't bother with healers. Um, first, mastery increases the amount of healing by 40% instead of 50%, which is a nerf. Obviously, less healing. Divine Light is back to what it was in season two. Pretty much means that it was a it's a lot faster. It's usable in um is usable in um, arena so um yeah devout mind causes 50 percent cast time reduction which is devout mind is the thing that rapid gives like the buff that rapid gives to decrease the next divine light so 
Fun fact: um, suffering um, it's been reduced from it's been reduced from 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 percent to um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent. I believe. Um, wait, no, no, that's something else. So, just fun fact: they just decrease the percent. Um, he, and then these are more indirect changes to healers. Um, this changes to military monks that buffed healers. Um, in many ways. So healers. They have Dragon Tail Kick, and that means now they can silence as well. So that's great, I guess. Um, healers, they also have more armor because guess what? They spec it in the military monk tree. I mean, that's great as well. And a rapid heal heals for less overall. That's a nerf. And then the healing reduction in arena has been increased. I'm not sure exactly what percent. I believe it's like 10, 20 percent. I'm not 100 percent sure. But regardless, um, overall, I say healers were buffed, which is kind of unfortunate since they probably. They deserve a nerf. They deserve a nerf on the PvP side and a buff on the PvE side, just in my opinion. And the only reason I say buff on the PvE side is because of monkey boss and because Game Life refuses to nerf them. In fact, they buffed the monkey bosses up. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. They made it even harder now. It does it does more damage now. And then the last one is that um, you see, fifty percent of your heal power is turned into spell power. So now. Healers do a lot more damage. It's actually scary how much damage they do now with a fire of fate and arrow of fate. So that's all the changes. Um, the I'd say healers they will overall got nerfed, not nerfed, um, buffed. But it's hard to tell. Healers always healers have always been a class that has been determined by the DPS they run with. So if they don't have any good DPSs to run with, then they tend not to be that great. Um, and it's it's like a support class. It's really hard to determine support class. And um, warriors, um, it's they pretty much got overhauls. So I won't talk about them too much. But you know, the noteworthy ones is that charge has been increased to 15 seconds cooldown instead of 10 second cooldown. Um, let's see, and then over, and then they just got completely overhauled. There's not really much to talk about there. Um, no one can really tell if there's a buff or a nerf. People say overall DPS wars have been nerfed and tanks have been significantly buffed, but um, it's still debatable whether it's worth running tanks in PvP or whether. Um, DPS wars are really good in PvP either, but um, I'm still seeing plenty of my friends I'm um, doing well, so I'm assuming it's not too bad that it's unusable, but you know, we'll have to see. We'll have to see how exactly how everything pans out. So regardless, at the end of the video guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Hopefully guys, it was long enough so I don't have to like stretch it out or don't have to add filler, but regardless, um, let's see, thanks to... I'm off in the description because I can't, I'm not actually looking at the gameplay right now, so I'm doing the commentary beforehand because I got class soon. And any, anyways, this is Poto here, rate, comment, subscribe, and um, if I see anything overly interesting um, in the next coming weeks about the update, then I'll post a video on that as well. So, um, yep, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.